Hi, I'm Morgan. I'm researching the Hi, I'm Noah, and I'm researching the And I'm David. I'm the editor. I had the medieval cannon called the pot de fer or iron pot. This cannon became popular in France during the Hundred Years' War and were made primarily for the king's artillery. It looked like a bottle with a long neck placed on its side. Inside, the bullet looked like an iron arrow and was set off with a red hot wire. However, this cannon wasn't very powerful. The arrow could only travel around 590 feet and could easily be destroyed while the cannon was being set off. Despite this, it could offer a really good advantage. Because hand-to-hand -hand combat was popular at the time, this cannon's long range and ability to be placed far away from battle made it a decent option in the King's Artillery. Hi, my name is Morgan, and my time period for my cannon is medieval to 1800s. My cannon was the Napoleon 12 pounder. This, was, this cannon was made out of bronze or cast iron. It is a smooth war weapon, which means that it has a barrel without rifling. This cannon can fire cannonballs, shells, or canisters, which made this cannon more versatile. This cannon brought smoothbore technology to its greatest height. It was light enough to be pulled by horse, but strong enough to tear down enemy walls half a mile away. This cannon became the ideal field artillery piece. It was used by both Union and Confederate forces in the American Civil War. 1,100 Napoleons were produced in the North and 600 in the South. Overall, this was a great choice. Bring the uh, modern cannon. The M77 howitzer is a obviously a howitzer cannon that was designed for pinpoint accuracy and lightweight movement. With its aluminum and titanium alloy, it is slightly smaller, but about half the weight of its uh, predecessor. It's also the first uh, howitzer to be under 10,000 pounds, which makes it have a record with its weight, as opposed to having a record the other way where it's too heavy. Um, BAE, or Bay, Land Systems was the original manufacturer and ended up getting funded by the U.S. government. There's a set number of systems be to be produced each year. The U.S. Marine Corps would get 380, and the U.S. Army would get about 273 a year. This 39 caliber cannon was has accuracy unlike anything we have seen, and with an effective firing range of 24 kilometers with the M107 rounds, or, or a whopping 40 kilometers, the higher explosive caliber rockets. This tiny Titan has a rate of fire of two two rounds per minute under standard conditions and a f and five rounds per minute under high intensity conditions. Although this does do permanent strain to the cannon, so it's not recommended.